So the three aspects about Tim goes by his initial Chu, C for his impeccable character, H for his hands-on nature, and finally you. Yes, that's you, but if there's one thing that Tim is crazy about, it's you. God is first in his life, followed by you. I remember when he first told me about you and how the journey began from Trackers, there were hearts popping out of his eyes. You know, he knew that he had met the right person and he was ready to take the next step with you. Dear Sabata, I love you. I know I may not express it enough, but thank you for loving me still. As your husband, I promise to fight for you and our relationship through the ups and downs, just like what we experienced while planning for the wedding. I promise to trust you when you say that you are okay and respect you, to laugh with you and cry with you by your side. And so, in the name of God, I, Timothy, take you, Alberta, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till we are parted by death. According to God's holy law, this is my solemn law. <laughs> Second one, uh, the second one, so one more yeah. next year. Yeah. 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 Alright, gonna miss you. Take care of yourself. Okay? Gonna remember to cut avocados for you. Okay? Yes, you. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Towards. <laughs> uh, oh, the time. Coming for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! Right, try, 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 try. My beloved is like a. <laughs> My beautiful one, come with me. All right. <laughs> church friends, we remember the many pranks Bert has played on people and she has even her own ministry in church called the Ministry of Pranks with actually official members and name cards at one point. In my lifetime, I cannot count the number of times she has tried to shop me around the house and somehow she has always succeeded even when I preempt myself and tell myself that she's just around the corner. I remember there was one time in 2018 and it was the day before my birthday. 
I was lying in bed and trying to sleep before midnight. But at midnight, Bert burst into the room and shouts, Happy birthday! Which gave me such a big shock that my whole body that was comfortably lying on the bed and ready to enter dreamland flipped up from the bed. She couldn't stop laughing and here she is laughing and crying right now. Um, and you know, it just, it's just one of the memories that, that is very memorable to her along with the, all the other ones, she's crying, all the other ones that she has remembered. So I met Tim in 2016 when I joined one of the Tuesday night floorball games that Tim and Bert would go for. On the side, Bert whispered to me that Tim is one of the guys she met in, at a discipleship program in 2010 and that he was very, very, very quiet and kind of forgettable. And that he didn't even make much of an impression on her. But look where they are now. He has definitely made an impression and will definitely continue to make an impression in her life. May you never forget to love each other as Christ loves us and pray together through the blessings, struggles and quarrels. I look forward to seeing you guys become better together. Love you both and so very happy for you. Firstly, we have to honour God. He is always loving and faithful and He has good plans for us. But and I wouldn't have met, become friends or gotten together if it had not been for God's provision. Wedding planning during these times can be challenging, but we have a God who is greater than COVID and greater than any obstacle that gives us faith for the future. We want to thank both our families who have supported us and loved us not just in the phase of wedding preparation, but for all our lives. Tim and I have lost count of how many herbal soups and nourishing drinks we've taken this week alone, all because our parents keep making these for us. We also want to thank our church friends from Living Hope and Crystalite. We really treasure this community of close friends and we see you all as our family. Although we both go to different churches, we see it as a good thing because our circles have expanded and it reminds us that we are all a family in Christ. Thank you for being with, here with us today. And lastly, I just want to honour Timothy. Dear, you are my best friend and favourite companion. I am so happy to be able to marry you today. I admire and respect you for your humility, your kindness and your devotion to God. You are always good-natured and you never speak ill of anyone. The only time I ever see you get upset or annoyed is when someone cuts your lane when you're driving. But that's okay because I think everyone would be upset too. But truly, I have a lot to learn from you and I'm glad we have a whole lifetime together to do that. To sharpen each other and to spur one another on to Christ-likeness. Today is so special to me and I love you very much. To Bert, my love, I am so grateful to you and for being a blessing in my life. You really fulfill my list of criteria that I thought of before and laid before God. And I thank God for bringing someone who can really converse with me and spend quality time with me. And it's always nice when we have our moments of HTHD randomly together. I love how you always care for the elderly and remind me to be patient while driving and to let things go because there are bigger things that are more worthy of our time. Like having a super awesome time with you instead, instead of letting the situation ruin our day. Thank you for accommodating my cheesiness and I look forward to spending my life with you. I will not mind you teasing me or scaring me intentionally or unintentionally. I love you so much. Who has the antidote to brokenness evaded me? Could I believe in what my ears have not heard? Or will the suffering that surrounds me have the final word? In all the darkest nights I know the sun will rise I will trust the promise I cannot see with my eyes Even when the clouds surround I know the sun still shines But when will it break through? Jesus, I need you
husband and wife. That makes me excited and nervous at the same time, yet I am assured because I know you will be by my side. As your wife, I promise that I will do my best to be vulnerable and open with you, to be bold and honest in sharing my thoughts and feelings. I promise to be understanding and patient with you, especially when we have differing opinions and preferences. I promise to support you, encourage you, and stick with you in the good times and the bad. So, in the name of God, I, Alberta, take you, Timothy, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till we are parted by death, according to God's holy law. This is my solemn vow. Trust you. I will trust you. 